Hey guys, my name is Jamie and thank you so much for coming to my channel. So as I was searching for things for my fall content, I saw some things that I just thought, you know what, I really want to talk about that because I struggle in this area as well. And I thought, you know what, if I can figure it out, I can really help other people with this because I think this style is really cute. I just wasn't sure what to do with it. and. It's the slouchy tapered pant. And I'm calling it slouchy because it's not like super baggy. It's just a little bit loose and it does have a high rise, but the main thing is that tapered leg. And so I don't know if you lived through the trend of pinch rolling your jeans and pants. If you did, please let me know below because we can share a laugh together. Like that is a trend that I hope doesn't come back, but maybe maybe it already has and I missed it. But that was kind of mimicking a tapered look on the legs of pants and it was the cool thing to do. And this kind of reminded me of it just a little bit because it was a little bit of a struggle and at least, um, with these, the pinch roll is not going to come out. You're not going to have to worry about it all the time. <laughs> I don't know if you had trouble with that like I did. But anyway, this just made me laugh. And so I wanted to share some of the outfits that I came up with. I did buy a pair of pants, which actually is what I have on now. And I'll show you at the end of the video. I've got a couple of outfits with, with these pants in my Your Guide to Style online system but i did buy the pants and i put on so many different things with them to see what i liked and so i just want to share a few things with you that i thought were really good with a pair of tapered pants and so i'll go ahead and put up the first outfit before i start explaining it but these pants the color of these pants is really cool it was actually the color i wanted but they didn't have my size at my target here these are from target and this is just a really lightweight casual uh, tapered leg pant and i actually went down a size in this pant as well it did run a little bit big i didn't want it super huge and coming up you know past my waistline so i did get a size down but the things that I really loved styling with this, one were more fitted tops. So you can do fitted t-shirts or even body suits look really good. The body suits stay tucked. They're a little bit dressier if you don't find ones that are more of a t-shirt option. So if you're doing casual, just try to find a more fitted tee. Or you can do a relaxed tee, which I'll show you in just a minute. I would really stay away from like your oversized graphic tees don't look good. If you have more of a fitted graphic tee and can tuck it in, then that would look good. But I tried on my oversized one and it just did not, did not look great. And so with these, you're going to see them in this photo. They, they are not rolled up. I rolled mine up because I'm 5'4", a little bit shorter. So everything, if it, you know, everything that's made to be an ankle length is long on me or it's regular length on me so these um, I rolled up because they do look best if they're a little above your ankle and not full length if you like full length go for it but I just think the little bit of space between the ankle and the pants I, I just think that looks a little bit better so um, with this, I did style a cropped jacket. I think crop jackets, which are really popular right now, are really, really cute with the higher waisted taper leg pants. And then your tops, I don't know if I mentioned this, they should tuck in unless they are short enough that they only cover a wee bit of that waistline. And I'm talking just a tiny bit. You still want to see the buttons and everything that are there because that's just part of the cuteness of the pants. So sneakers are really great with a pair of pants like these. You can do black sneakers, you could do white sneakers, but the pants with them above the ankle, you could roll them if you wanted to, but it's a really cute casual look. And then I added a backpack to this just because I thought it was a great sporty look and backpacks are on trend for the fall. And I personally love backpacks. I think they're very functional and very cute. So the next outfit shows the pants that I actually have on, and this is the looser fitting muscle tee. And this was really cute tucked in. I have this t-shirt, I tucked it into them, and I thought, wow, that is really cute. I just pulled it out lightly, so it wasn't, 
huge blousey or blousing over the waistband. You could still see the cute waistband. And then I had tried on all of my denim jackets. I don't really have a crop version, but I have a regular length and then I have a boyfriend length. I didn't love the boyfriend because I'm short. If you were taller, I think that would look great. But if you are 5'4", five, 5'3", in a short if you're a shorter person like I am then you would probably want to stick with either cropped or regular length on the jackets a moto jacket would be something that would be really cute with this as well and you know the moto jacket length is kind of like the regular length of a denim jacket and it looks really good I tried that on as well and then I did try on my combat boots and I was so surprised at how stinking cute it was with these pants and so I I would do it with a pair of jeans as well that were tapered like this and how I did it. And you'll see at the end, the boots that I have, they're not really, they're kind of a chunkier boot, but they're not really a combat boot. I wanted to show you the ones I had, but the combat boot is cool because the shaft of the leg is a little bit tighter. And so the pant kind of comes a little bit over the top of it, not too much, and it's still looser. So it looked really good just rolled up to the very top of that you could roll it up one more and show some skin but you don't have to i originally thought you know what it's gonna look best if you just showed a little bit of skin between the, the boot and the pants but y'all it looked really good just having it right there at the top of the boot since the shaft was skinny so if you don't love the combat boots you could also find a boot that, that laces up that has a thinner shaft that's not so combat bootish and those would be cute as well or you could do some of the other trends which are the loafers that have a little bit more of a platform or the clogs so they are both chunkier and would be cute but if you don't like the chunky you could also do a regular loafer a regular ballerina flat and even a mule and so you have a lot of options and there's a lot of versatility in these these casual pants more than I, I thought after trying lots of things on with them and one thing I don't think I mentioned that I tried was an oversized kind of cropped sweater and I thought it was so cute with them so if you wanted to do something oversized just make sure it's cropped enough I just tucked the front end and maybe I'll add a picture if I can to this if I can get a picture before I put this up but y'all it was so cute because the oversized sweaters are in and I always want to try different trends together and see how they work and I, I thought that one was really really cute but you can't do something that's really long it needs to be shorter and then I front tucked it because it wasn't quite short enough and it was cute so anyway let's get into the dressier version of the slouchy tapered pants so this pant came from it's from amazon it's a really popular pant that i've seen a lot that comes in a gazillion different colors and i think it's pretty decent quality i haven't actually ordered one myself because i haven't needed it but i have seen other people that have gotten it and i thought it was really cute it's got the paper bag waist, so it is a higher waist and has the tie. You could remove the tie and add a belt if you wanted, which any of these high-waisted pants, you can add a belt to if I haven't said that already. But this one, I wanted to style this with a bodysuit because I thought the bodysuit is a great stay tucked look. It's a great look underneath a blazer because I wanted this to be a little bit more professional or something that you could dress up for a shower or a wedding or a luncheon or something like that. And so I just did a neutral pink bodysuit here and thought it was really cute. It stays tucked. And if you're not so comfortable in things as fitted as this, a great way to wear something like this is to put a blazer over it. So I wanted to show you that. I think it's a very classic look. And I even, if you replace these pants with a pair of jeans like this, I think it would be amazing as well. So I did choose a high heel shoe, a high heel sandal. If you wanted to do a pump, you could. And if you wanted to lower the heel a bit, you could. But I think the high heel looks the best. These are a little bit above the ankle. And I think a high heel looks really, really good to help elongate um, the leg. And then I did choose a longer necklace because I think it adds a little bit more pizzazz to the bodysuit. And then for the blazer, just wear it open. And I would stay away from anything oversized and longer. So just find a relaxed fit or a classic slim fit blazer that either hits at your hip line or a little below, but I wouldn't go too far down to your hip area or your thigh area with anything that is on top. That's why I'm recommending tucking in and the jackets be a little shorter because it does add a little bit more bulk to that area no matter what size you are. So. 
That is what I recommend for that. If you wanted to replace the bodysuit, I want to mention that you can do just a regular loose fitting blouse, not something that is super duper oversized, you know, like the balloon sleeves and stuff like that. I would stick with, you know, just something really easy that you can throw on either button up or pull over that will easily tuck in and not look too bulky. I think that works as well. And camisoles work really well. If you can find a pretty scalloped neck camisole or something like that that could go under the blazer, that would be pretty as well and just tuck it in. So I think that's pretty much it on those. And I will show you and explain to you the outfit I have on next. Okay, so I really wanted to show you guys this outfit because it's not something that I thought would work, but I thought it was just perfect and it was perfect for me because I don't really love tucking things in now I put on my muscle tee with this and I will wear that tucked in I thought it was cute but most of the time I'm just not a huge fan it, most stuff doesn't look that great on me tucked in so if you're the same way I really wanted to figure out some things that I could do with this that wouldn't require me to layer or wouldn't require me to tuck anything in. And so I just took my oversized white button down, which this was trending in the spring. It's still trending in the fall. You'll see a lot out there. And I just kind of rolled the hem under and then I tied it in the front to make it a little bit shorter. So you can still, still see the waistline of the pants and you can see that these come up to my belly button. They probably should be a little bit higher. They're kind of sliding down because of my mic, but Anyway, I thought this was really cute, casual, and then I put on a pair of white sneakers and love the white sneakers, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try my boots that I got at the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, and lo and behold, <laughs> they were really cute, and I just kept the pants rolled up. You could actually have them a little shorter so it showed more of the boot if you wanted, but otherwise, I still thought that was really cute, and I never thought I would like this look of the pant meeting the boot, but I really do. I think it works for me. Um, this, not really my thing, but I still think it looks really good and I think it'll look good on a lot of people. And if you have longer legs, this is going to be perfect styling for you. So I wanted to show you this because I was just really surprised at how dang cute it was and how comfortable I was in it. And so I just added my favorite statement earrings and then a cute little chain necklace that I got at the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. It's like 24 bucks and I like the chain necklaces. So you could do whatever there, whatever you wanted, but I just like simple, but I do like statement earrings, so that's my thing. But anyway, I say just try what you think is going to work for you, and I hope something does. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to check out my style subscription, I've got fall going in now, and you will see a lot of these, all of the outfits that I put up in the photographs will be in the app along with some others. I've got five or six outfits that I've done with some of the tapered jeans and pants. I'll be doing a baggy tapered jean video next. I was gonna do both together, it just seemed way too long. So <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna check out my style subscription, it's at www.yourguidetostyle.com. I'll also provide you a link below. And thank you so much for watching.